can't check it. Thanks, Green. Um, the LA Times said that their reporter did not submit any questions in advance of yesterday's press conference. So to the people who saw that pocket card, can you explain how that ended up there and why the president needed something like that? So just to, just to step back, and I'm actually glad you asked that question. Uh, clearly, I would let uh, uh, the, the reporter for uh, Los Angeles Times speak for herself. Uh, it is entirely normal for a president to be briefed on reporters who will be asking questions at a press conference and issues that we expect they might ask about. Uh, it is not surprising that yesterday uh, we would anticipate questions that he did receive, right, on the visit uh, with uh, with the South Korean president, as the South Korean president was sitting standing to his to his right, or about 2024, that was uh, completely expected, or about the debt ceiling, uh, which he took questions at the end, shouted questions at the end, and of course we would note those issues to him. Uh, uh, those those issues uh, to him will likely come up, and let's not forget. We do these briefings every day, and a lot of the questions that you that you all tell me, that's how we brief him as well. You all ask me, that's how we brief him as well. So, um, look, we we do not have specific questions in advance. That's not something that we do. And in fact, I would point out the questions that was asked was different uh, than what was on the card that uh, you all saw. Um, and look uh, again. We have these press conferences. The president takes your questions. Uh, we always, our job is to get a sense of uh, what you all want to ask him. That is our job here, to get a sense of what's uh, the, the, the news of the day, uh, the topics you all are interested uh, for, for to ask uh, of him, and so that he, that we are all, not just him, we are all prepared uh, to take that seriously and to take that in a way that uh, is going to be reported uh, from our point of view, because we know that you all are reporting out to the American people and want to make sure you get our point of view of how we see uh, these different issues uh, that I even just laid out, whether it's 2024, whether it's uh, what has been discussed or the agenda with the president of South Korea. Again, we take this very seriously and we want to make sure that we're providing uh, information that's helpful to you and the American people. How are the reporters decided? So, um, so the way that we have moved forward uh, with this type of uh, process is that we reach out to uh, a number of reporters who uh, who are going to who we know are going to be at the press conference, uh, and that's what we did yesterday. Uh, and also, we try to be really mindful and who who has not gotten a question in a while. Uh, and uh, and so, as you know, we could only pick two reporters yesterday, so that limits our ability on how many reporters we can call on. Uh, Mary's not here, but I can say one of the reasons that we uh, we picked Mary is because she was just named a, a chief White House correspondent for ABC and had not gotten a, a question in some time. And we picked the Los Angeles Times, uh, which has gotten a, which has not gotten a question in some time. And I want to add uh, that the fact that California has the largest South Co uh, Korean American population in any state in the country, and, uh, and LA has the biggest population of any city in America, and LAT is the biggest daily paper serving that population. So we are mindful on who we pick and who we want to communicate out to. And so that's how we move forward uh, with Mary and Courtney. Uh, uh, we thought that is pretty reasonable, wanting to, as we have the South Korean president uh, uh, with us during this press conference, uh, because we wanted to also communicate with the Kore Korean American. So that's usually how we move this process forward. Is it, just I'm sorry. Korean, is it your contention, Korean? I'm not. Question, I'm not taking call. That the question I, that, that was not on done. the so-called cheat sheet was Jackie, not similar colleague, to the your, question that was asked at the your press colleague, conference. Your colleague is not but, done. Go ahead, go ahead. I, I, it's a very reasonable just, question. No, but to, to I, I hear you. Can you can you wait your turn? Like, thank you. Thank Thank you, John. I appreciate that. I really do. Go Thank ahead. you. Go ahead, John. And just to be clear, to people, skeptics who saw the card and saw the question number one and might think that that is a signal that it was pre-organized. Did the president have other questions that he was prepared, you know, had similar um, talking points in case he was asked something on other topics in that same? I, Jackie, I'm going to be, as someone who is part of his, uh, uh, of the prep briefing with the president for these press conferences as his press secretary, uh, we talk about an array of, uh, of topics that could potentially come up. Uh, and 
that's what we do. Uh, just at the end, there were shouted questions, and he took those shouted questions. Uh, but we also had a sense that, hey, you know, you might get something on a debt ceiling, which makes a lot of sense, which is one of the uh, news of the day. So we cover an array of topics. It's not just the two Americans who ask questions. It was also the two uh, South Korean reporters who asked questions. So we do our best to make sure that the president is ready to communicate with all of you and the American people. Uh, so, yeah, we covered an array of issues. Issues, but of course, there are probably the top three, top five uh, uh, topics, hot items that you all are interested in, and uh, and so that's kind of how we move forward. And the last